Hey, this video is basically a rundown of what I learned and the process I went through to replace our battery bank in our sailboat. I couldn't find all the information I needed in one spot, so that's what I'm trying to provide here. This is the complete diagram of what I ended up with, and by the end of the video, I will have walked through the steps it took to get there and provide more in-depth diagrams as well. There seems to be an endless amount of disagreement online about how to do these things and what to do. This seems like a very straightforward situation, and I can't find it anywhere on YouTube or Google that lays it out and explains it well. Oh, I could make a video like that, except I have no fucking idea how to do it. We are super excited to change our battery bank. It's been three years we've been nursing the batteries that they told us we needed to get rid of when we got the boat. So we're gonna put four six volt uh, golf cart batteries in here. And I still have to do a little research on whether to get a deep cycle start battery or not. So I'm gonna go and uh, check that out. <laughs> Goodbye, old batteries. You've served us well. Getting rid of the spaghetti factory. What do you think about all this? I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be uh, nice to know that after a weekend at anchor that uh, the boat will start. While it brings a certain level of excitement and adventure <laughs> to going out, it'll uh, be nice to know that we'll be able to get home. Since I had the room, I decided to replace this Group 27 starting battery with a little bit larger Group 31. Running down and labeling all these electrical lines was invaluable information in getting to know this important system in our boat. By replacing these two batteries, rated at a total of 212 amp hours, with the four 6 volt golf cart style batteries at 215 amp hours each, We'll increase our total to 430 amp hours. What are you girls doing? Ruby. Getting a little uh, grooming, <laughs> grooming done. Day two of the battery bank rebuild, and I've got to admit, it's not going as smoothly as I'd hoped. <laughs> Here's my book. This is uh, Charlie Wing. It's supposed to be the easiest, like really low level, uh, best best book you can get for uh, for this type of uh, boat work. And then I've talked to people about it, and they say this is really simple. <laughs> There's nothing to it. It's really simple. It isn't simple. Hi. Right. You look amazing. I don't, I appreciate that. I don't feel all that great. Uh, I think I've spent a bunch of money, six or 800 bucks, 600 bucks on batteries and I've hooked them up wrong, I think, and I, the boat won't start. <laughs> Bonus, new batteries. Uh, I'm perplexed on wiring and how it all works. Like much of the boat work I do, my battery bank project took much longer than I wanted it to. I took numerous runs to the chandlery for this project, talked to a lot of different friends, found a lot of different articles online, and some of the videos I found I'm going to share in the links below that I thought were the most helpful. The most helpful thing for me really was drawing out the sketches, the diagrams, diagram after diagram until I finally figured this project out, I, I think. I'm going to go start the engine. We'll see. 
In the meantime, here are the diagrams outlining how to wire two battery banks, one 12 volt starting battery and four 6 volt golf cart style batteries in series and parallel. How to wire the Blue C systems add a battery kit, the 120A, which includes the E series dual circuit plus battery switch, the 5511E, and the SI ACR, the automatic charger relay, 7610. Also the Marinko Charge Pro dual 10 amp charger as well as how to connect all of the above to the alternator, starter, and electrical panel. And hey, this next slide should be obvious to everyone. It's a really good idea to get professional advice before you start doing any of these things yourself. So here's the way that I learned to connect four 6-volt golf cart batteries in series and in parallel. First off, the top two batteries represent house bank A, with the bottom two batteries representing house bank B. First, hook the positive to the negative between the two top 6 volt batteries to form one 12 volt. And same goes for the bottom batteries, a positive to the negative between two 6 volts to form a 12 volt. Then I ran my negative to negative between house banks A and B to form a parallel connection and did the same with the positive. I then connected my positive lead to my Blue C system switch on the number one position, the stud at the bottom. At the negative, I took that lead to the negative bus bar. Feel free to pause here for the full diagram of how I wired my four 6 volt golf cart batteries in series and parallel. Ah, and here it is, the finished diagram. A wise man once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. I gotta admit though, for all the frustration, I did really enjoy the whole project. If you see anything on this diagram that looks amiss, please let me know in the comments section below. But until then, here we go. Not a bad way to finish the day. Have you ever replaced a battery bank? Did you find it frustrating or is it just me? Let me know in the comments below and if you found this video helpful or you want to see me make an ass of myself more often just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell beside the subscribe button to get the most current uploads as I put them out.